Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Summerana.com, and this is a preview and tutorial of the new Lux Lace Overlay in Action Collection. This is available for both Photoshop and PSE, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples. And here is our Lux Lace Overlay Action Collection. I'm going to go through them really quick. We have um, color lace, white lace, light, white lace, heavy, black lace, light, black lace, heavy. These are all just different kinds of alterations of the lace and it would do all the work for you. The only thing for PSC users, the black lace light is not available, but don't worry because heavy lace is pretty much the exact same thing, just a little bit heavier and thicker. So I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to show you an example. Place color lace. And you can go ahead and choose any lace that you want. I'm going to show you an example too. If Once you press place, you might decide, oh, this isn't the lace that I meant to grab. That's okay, just press cancel. Press place again. And you can go ahead and choose any lace that you want to do. And you can just keep doing that till you get the lace that you need. Until you start remembering the names of the lace. So, to change the size, you want to have the biggest size possible. Because once you make it smaller, it's really... you. If you try to make it bigger after that, it'll just become really pixelated. So go ahead and make sure it's as big as you need it right away. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard or press the link here. And this will make sure that it doesn't um, get all out of shape. Put it wherever you want on your image. This is not what it will look like, don't worry. Then press the check mark. Go ahead and follow the directions on the messages. And you can go ahead and pick a different color. Pick any color that you want all over your image, or you can choose any color from the box here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a color. Press OK. OK, now we can come back over here to our Layers palette, and we can click, double click this box at any time to change the color. You can also adjust the heaviness of your lace, and you can add more texture, which the color lace and the black lace usually need more texture. So I'm going to go ahead and press the eye that will unhide it and then change the opacity to however you see it best that you want to add it. And there you go, there you have the color lace. Um, another thing that you can do, anytime you want to move the lace around, you can always of course come down to your actions that will help you do it right away for you. I'm just going to show you a couple of what it does for you here. You can also do so many different kinds of effects with this. So I'm just going to put it back over here for now. If you want to duplicate this without going through the whole process again, hold control on your keyboard and then select all of the layers that are on that are a part of this layer and then hold alt on your keyboard and then drag it above and now you have duplicated it. You can either do that to make it thicker or you can drag it and have different kinds of effects here. And you can do that as many times as you need to. Now if you want to get rid of this layer you can just unhide or hide it by pressing this I. Don't bother doing this because that'll just make them all wonky. If you hide the layer of the actual lace layer, it will hide all of them for you. And then when you flatten, those will disappear. If you want to delete them, again, make sure you hold control on your keyboard and it will select all of these. Go ahead and delete. So, we have color. There's an example. I'm also going to show you the difference between the light and the heavy. Again, it's not that big of a difference, but it's kind of neat. I'm just going to put it right on top of her so you can see. Here is the light. It's kind of see-through. I'm going to go ahead and do heavy. And you can tell here it's not so see-through at all. So it's thicker. And the same thing with black.
there's the light. It's still kind of thick, but it's still a little see-through. See, it's not that big of a difference. And again, black and color, you can add more texture. This one's thicker, and then this one's a little more lighter. You can also adjust the opacity of each lace, and of course the texture and the heaviness. You can also, when you click the lace, play with the different kinds of blending modes. You also have different tools here. You can make a snapshot. I like this tool a lot because um, you can do a different examples. I always have like 20 different snapshots. And then go to history. If you don't have your history panel out, just go to window and select history right here. And you have mine out and then here you can see the before and after and it will also save all your layers. So I can go back to that look anytime I want to. You can also zoom in, zoom out, fit on screen, find image, resize for web, web sharpen, and happily ever after, which is my favorite also. It flattens and um, sets it up for you to save it in one simple press of a button. So thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to see more examples and see more information, you can go to www.samana.com. Thank you for watching.